Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain what is a triangle wave. Alright, let's dive in. A triangle wave is a non-sinusoidal waveform named for its triangular shape. It is periodic piecewise linear continuous function. As you can observe here, it's clearly not a sine curve, it, it looks like a triangle. And since it's not a sine wave, it's not a pure tone, meaning it's going to have some other frequencies in addition to the dominant frequency meaning it's going to have harmonics and overtones. And a triangle wave is similar to a square wave, meaning it has the odd harmonics, just like the square wave. But there is one difference, and the difference is the harmonics roll off much faster as compared to the square wave, meaning their magnitude decreases rapidly. Since the higher frequency contents are poor in magnitude, they're not going to sound as, you know, as bright as a square wave. Now, this will be clearly evident when you listen to the triangle waves and take a look at their frequency spectrum. Triangle waves can be created with sine wave using additive synthesis, unlike square waves and sawtooth waves. The equation of a triangle wave is given by the sine and the arc sine functions. Here, A is the amplitude, X is the displacement, and P is the period. This is a 500 Hz triangle wave. Notice a large wavelength compatible with the lower frequency, and this is how it sounds like. As you listen to this audio clip, you would have noticed that it doesn't sound like a pure tone, but slightly richer than a pure tone. The reason being, it's filled with odd harmonics and it will be clearly evident when you take a look at the frequency spectrum. Alright, this is a frequency spectrum of a 500 Hz triangle wave. Notice the dominant frequency which is 500 and the next frequency which is the harmonic is an odd harmonic. So 500 into 3 which is 1500, that's where we see the second peak at and the next peak is 500 times 5 which is 2500 and so on. But notice most important that the magnitude is decreasing drastically, which is why, you know, we it does sound richer but not as rich as a square wave. This is a thousand hertz triangle wave and this is how it sounds like. Alright, this is a frequency spectrum of 1000 Hz triangle wave. Notice the dominant frequency is 1000 Hz and the next one is 1000 times 3, that's 3000 and 5000. Again, we can clearly see that the harmonics are losing their strength very rapidly. This is a 2000 Hz triangle wave. Notice a decrease in wavelength as the frequency is increasing and this is how it sounds like. Alright, this is a 2000 Hz triangle wave spectrum and the dominant frequency is 2000 Hz followed by the odd harmonic 6000 and 10000 Hz respectively. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Alright, thanks a lot. Until next time.